Hey, this is Digital by Computing. We're going through the steps on how to export a VM from VMware vSphere. So you can do this by connecting directly into a VMware ESXi host, or you can do it through vCenter as well. In this case, I'm doing this on a lab environment, connecting directly to a ESXi host. And what we've got here is we've got a test VM. It is currently switched off, and I wanna go ahead and export this VM. Now, the reason you may want to export it is you may want to transfer it, say, to another environment. You want to save it and transfer it to a, a um, you could put it into, say, a Citrix Zen server or into something like a Hyper-V or a different VMware product. Um, you could be having uh, a merging with another company that you need to transfer a whole bunch of servers and VMs from one environment to another. So you may want to export them and then you likewise then import them back into your environment once you need to do that. Simple steps is you select your VM, you go into file and you go export and you're going to say export OVF template. It's going to ask me where I want to save this. We're just going to go and save it straight onto the C drive. And we're going to say test export. All right. You've got a couple of options, folder of files or single file. I generally recommend using it as a folder of files and OVF. You can also put a description. Okay, just to sort of understand, well, what is this VM? When was it exported? That sort of thing. And we say, okay. So that is now going to start to export that VM to this particular location, C colon, uh, test export, and then you've got your VMDK file, which is what's going to be exported to. So you'll see that that is now exporting 2%. It will take a bit of time depending on how big the VM is. But if we navigate to the disk drive, C drive, which is I think where we were saving it, you'll see that it's actually saving it into this location right here. Okay, so that will then take a little bit of time, as I said, in complete. We're not going to bother going through it, but that is the step on how to export a VM in a VMDK file uh, to a hard drive. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for a whole bunch of more videos.